everyone, this is Shivi Goel, the author on travel. I am back with another video on Navratri. It's an auspicious festival of nine days. Uh, earlier, if you haven't checked the video on which I have made the importance of uh, nine days and the Durga Ma Avtas worshipped on each and every nine day, please check it out. Today we'll be talking about colors. So here's a little complexity into colors when I talk about it. Uh, that you know, the, in this state today is green, and in maybe another state of India there's grey. So it happens. But we'll be talking about the nine days and their colors and their significance and how and what role they play in your uh, culture and custom and uh, your rituals as well. Before starting the video, as I always say, keep smiling, be good, be healthy, be kind and be compassionate. Do not forget to subscribe the channel because it's all about learning, knowledge, travel, books, poetry, sustainability and a lot more. So just stay tuned to the channel and uh, I try to make uh, informative videos and the topics which I just feel from heart and I just, you know, wanted to make it and spread uh, it across. Also, leave the comment uh, below, how do you like it and what are your views on it? Okay, so during Navratri, each of the nine days is associated with a specific color. And the choice of the color has a significant meaning in your culture and customs. These colors are just not for the decoration, but they also have deeply rooted significance and importance in our Hindu mythology and Sanatan Dharma. Let's start one by one from day one now. Day one is Pratipada, which is yellow color. Yellow color signifies the goddess Shailaputri because Shailaputri is worshipped on day one. Yellow represents the color of the new beginnings, growth and happiness. It symbolizes the power of goddess and strength and austerity. Day two is green color. Green is for goddess Brahmacharini. She is a symbol of love and loyalty and is worshipped on the second day. Green also signifies the fertility of the earth and it has a really important role in cultivating wisdom and knowledge in beings and it is associated with nature. Day 3 is the grey colour. Here the grey colour on the third day is dedicated to goddess Chandraghanta who is believed to ward off all the evils from the world and rise up for the humanity. The grey also symbolises the destruction of evil and the triumph of the god. Now we have day 4. Day 4 is orange colour. Orange is dedicated to Kushmanda. That is the fourth day Kushmanda, the form of uh, goddess Durga is worshipped. Orange also represents the energy of new possibilities and new opportunities. It signifies the joy of optimism, you know, positive energy, the positive aura, the source within you. And with her divine energy, if you worship and you wear orange color, it brings a lot of luck as well. Day 5 is for white color. Goddess Kandamata is worshipped on the day 5, who is associated with purity and peace. So as you know, current situation of the world is not that great. There's a lot of war, misery, pain and suffering is there. So maybe this is the time, you know, when on the fifth day we can pray to Goddess Durga for peace in the world. So white color also reflects the maternal energy on the other side and that is the purity of the Goddess. The day sixth is for red. Now why red? It signifies the goddess Katyani. Katyani's red color is the power of fearfulness, fearlessness, the courage, and it also symbolizes the fierce energy within you. So if you if you meditate during this day, the fierce energy within you will gonna elevate more and more. Day seven is the royal blue. Why royal blue? It signifies the goddess Kalratri because we worship Kalratri on uh, day seven. The royal blue signifies the infinite power within you know uh, our power which is which we hold within and we can't unleash it with the divine grace of the goddess of kalra three uh, happen to wear a royal blue it will gonna really help and elevate your uh, puja which you do on this day the eighth is for pink color pink represents the hope you know a new ray of hope the new beginnings so it also symbolizes the purity and the divine grace of the goddess mahagauri Mahagauri, as I mentioned in the earlier video, is the purest and the cutest form of Goddess Durga, which is a 16-year-old Gauri. That's a Kanya which we worship. Thus, this day has real importance uh, in our culture, in Hindu Dharma and in Sanatan Dharma. And we invite uh, these beautiful Kanyas for Kanya Bhuj. Ninth day is for the purple. It's dedicated to the Goddess Siddhitri. 
Purple is a blend of red and blue, right? So it's not a primary color. It's a blend of red and blue. It symbolizes the culmination of energy, ending it with the divine grace. It also represents the highest form of meditation, the highest form of the divine and the cosmic energy. So the ninth day is really powerful for that highest level of uh, cosmic enlightenment within you. So meditate and do your puja and sadhana. These were the nine colors of Navratri and they are just not vibrant as they seem, but they also have the deep rooted spiritual significance as I mentioned. Worshippers, they often wear these colors or on nine days, but if they aren't able to wear, no worries. You can use any other item to offer to the goddess Durga of the same color on that day. Before wrapping up, I just wanted to say that uh, let your divine energy and exploration within you keep going because for spiritual attainment it is important to know yourself and if you are a believer of spirituality and you believe in meditation let's try to meditate at least 10 minutes a day that's really powerful bring you here with grace and blessings of the divine energy coming back with another video on another topic so thank you so much for watching and if you like the video please hit a like button do not forget to subscribe the channel it helps eventually and give it a like and a view and a comment of whatever you feel like it's okay uh, we all are growing and i really wanted to create a community and a tribe wherein we can resonate with the ideas and a different different topics to cater to this channel if you are a reader i'm an author too so read those couple of books i have some children books also if you want to uh, buy them the links are in the description. I'll see you next time. Keep smiling, keep spreading smile and be healthy and safe. Namaste.